Hello and welcome. My name is Peter Havens, and I'm the Director of Product Management here at Centrify for Endpoint Solutions. In this video, you'll learn how easy it is to set up Monkey for Mac application management in the Centrify Identity Platform, and learn how to upload applications and packages to your tenant's Monkey repository in the Centrify Cloud. You'll learn about three different tools for uploading packages into the repository. We'll look at Monkey and the Monkey import command for uploading packages to your repository as well as auto package, which allows you to leverage community or custom recipes to identify and import applications. And if you prefer a non-command line tool, we'll take a look at auto packager as well. First thing we'll want to do is make sure that the administrator has the right to manage applications in the Centrify Identity Service. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a role and assign myself the application management right. One of the advantages Centrify brings to the Monkey solution is that we configure it for secure communication out of the box. So the next step is to enroll my Mac as an administrator. As a part of that enrollment process, I will receive an identity cert that uniquely identifies me. Now that I've completed enrollment, I can log into the portal through single sign-on, and I'll go to the administrator portal and download the monkey tools and the auto package tools from the Centrify Download Center. I'll go ahead and install both of these tools. And that's it, we're ready to get started and import applications. First, we'll import applications with the monkey command line, the monkey import command. So I'm going to import the Sublime Text Editor via the monkey import command. As a part of our monkey tools installation, we've installed a plugin to monkey that allows us to leverage the identity certificate deployed at enrollment to write directly to your cloud's tenant. And here I'm being prompted to accept the usage of that certificate. So I'll always allow and proceed with the import. Next, I'm going to answer a few questions about the package itself. I'll give the package a name and a description, and I'm going to choose to do an unattended install on this one, which will mean that this package is required and will install automatically. And I'll use the catalogs option to assign this to the monkey users role in the Centrify Identity Service. And you will see that it is now being copied to my Centrify Identity Service tenant. Now we'll switch back to the admin portal and look in the apps section and we'll see the Sublime app that I just imported is now available. You can see here that all of the settings for the application have been set, including who should get the application and whether it should be automatically installed or optional. Next I'll demonstrate how we can use auto package to find applications in community or custom recipes and import them into the system. In this case I'm going to use the iStat menus app. So first I'll do a search for iStat in all of the known repositories just by doing a auto package search on iStat. Here we can see a list of repositories that include iStat packages. Now I've done a little research ahead of time and decided that I can trust the Keely Sam repo for the iStat menus recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and add the Keely Sam repo to my auto package repository. Next I just want to list the recipes that are known by auto package. So I'll do an auto package list dash recipes, and I'm gonna grep for iStat menus in Monkey here to simplify. And now I see the name of the recipe I'm interested in. So I'm just gonna run an auto package run dash v on iStat menus.monkey. And just like was the case when we used the monkey command line, the iStat package is now being copied up into your Centrify identity service. And before I go in and configure this in the service, I'm going to delete it and show you one more method for importing the application. In this demonstration, I'm going to use the Auto Packager tool. Another open source component, originally delivered by the Lindy Group and now maintained by the open source community. Auto Packager is simply a GUI tool which wraps the Auto Package functionality. So it already knows about the repos that I've added, so I can simply search for the same iStat application here and I'll find it in the same repository here and I'll just right click and add it to the repository now. And once again you can see it has been re-added to the Centrify Identity Service list of applications. And now I can click down into the details for this application and set it up like I want to make sure that the right users have access to it. And in this case I want to make it a catalog item not one that's automatically installed. 
Additionally, I want to change the category, which this will show up under the Manage Software Center client. And last, I'll go ahead and import the icon. And that's it.